hi everyone welcome to my channel in today video we are going to talk about one of the most beautiful and fragrant flowers the rose rose are really known for their beauty and their fragrant smell but did you know that they are also a great source of nutrition today i am going to teach you how to grow rose with hips so so first let's talk about what rose hips uh, rose hips are the fruit of the rose plant. They are usually red or orange in color and are very high in vitamin C, antioxidants and other nutrients. They are commonly used in teas, jams and other culinary preparation. Now let's get start with the step to grow rose with hips. Choose the right rose bush. Not all rose bushes produce hips so it's important to choose a very variety that does look for roses that are labeled as hips producing or weed rose prefer well in soil that is rich in nutrients mixed compost or aged manure into the soil to provide the nutrients your rose bush needs to thrive plant a rose bush in a location that gets plenty of sunlight and has Good air circulation, dig a hole that is slightly larger than the root ball of the plant and backfill with soil. Water the rose bushes regularly. Roses need regular watering to establish their roots and to produce hips. Water deeply once a week or more frequently if the weather is hot and dry. Prune the rose bush, pruning your rose bush will help it to produce more hips prune in later winter or early spring removing any dead or damaged branches and cutting back the remaining branches by about one third once the hips have repent and turned red or orange they are ready to be harvested simply cut them off the bush with a pair of sharp scissors or Perinoners. Enjoy your no rose hips. Rose hips can be used in a variety of culinary preparation, including teas, jams, and scripts. They are a great source of nutrition and a delicious addition to my recipe. So that's last it for today video. I hope you found this tutorial on how to grow rose with hips helpful. If you have any question or comments. Feel free to leave them down below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more gardening tips and tricks. Thanks.